Day 2, Stay Your Ass Home Webinars. Today I went over the summarized spoken text. And I talked about techniques that I use, techniques that I don't use, reasons why I don't use them. I talked about the scoring. And then we went into some practice. Now in this video, I cut some of that out. The reason is because we ain't trying to watch an hour long YouTube video about PTE. So that's why I had to cut it out. Now it's not too late though. If you want to join the webinar, you can still hit over to my website, justassunny.com. I'll even link that below. So you can click on that and you still can enroll for the remaining two weeks. Now, once again, if you're new here, my name is Sunny and this is Sunny English. And remember to subscribe because I provide real tips and tricks on how to get your PT score. So y'all ready for this? Let's get into it. A lot of times people approach this technique or they have used the same technique as retail lecture, right? Have you done that before? Or wherever you went to study PT or maybe you even studied on YouTube, they use the technique of retail lecture, right? The lecture talked about this, the lecture talked about this. It also mentioned this um, by a show of hands or by a show of yeses. Have you tried that te technique before? I don't teach that. I don't like to use that. So that's why I want to um, address that because a lot of times people ask me, how come I don't do it that way? Um, because I don't just watch YouTube and see how other people teach it and then just run with it and teach it to other people. No, I have to test it. I have to make sure that the techniques are working effectively or consistently, right? Now, I don't see consistent scores when we do this. And it's not because I believe PTE can understand us. Now, this is the instructions. Do we know? Do we all know the instructions? Um, let me read it for you. You will hear a short lecture. Write a summary for a fellow student who is not present at the lecture. I always joke around with my classes, and I, I am that student that never come to class, okay? Regardless if I was a high school teacher or not, I hated school. And my worst subject was English. <laughs> I never went to class, so you will have to take notes for me. If you were taking notes for me, are you going to write, the lecture talked about this, the lecture talked about that, or are you going to get straight to the point and write down the main points? First or second, what would you do? Second. You guys agree? Joe says second, right? Okay, more and more people are saying second. There you go. I would do the second. I would not write down the lecture talked about this and the lecture talked about that. And probably the reference back to the lecture is the trigger to, to give us a lower score. I'm not sure. Again, I won't make up lies about how I know PT, how they are scored, how, they, how it is scored. I'll just share with you my experiences on why I think I don't get consistent scores. Here's another thing. This has nothing to do with summarized spoken text. But have you guys seen this um, task before? This is called the highlight correct summary. Have you heard of this task before? In this situation, highlight correct summary, you are asked to do a task very similar to summarize spoken text, but you don't write it. You just pick the summary that is um, true to the lecture, right? And again, you don't get summaries that go back and refer back to that lecture. The lecture talked about this, the lecture talked about that. Does that make sense? So those are reasons why I try to avoid referring back to the lecture. And that's why I don't do it that way, okay? And plus, I tested it, and my scores don't come consistent. And if it's not consistent, I don't want to use it. Any questions about this so far? Now, um, should we use templates? Should we not use templates? Uh, I just want to tell you that templates will not be your savior, okay? I mean, it will help you, but what is the purpose of a template? It is to eliminate the time that you got to spend on a particular task so you can spend the extra time somewhere else. Because oftentimes people ask me, um, can your templates get 79? Okay, I have templates for all of these things. I'll show you how to create your own template today because that's not, template is not magical, okay? You can create your own. Now, when they ask me if my templates can get them 79, the answer is no. I tell them straight up, no, it cannot. It cannot get you 79 because it's, you are asking the wrong answer. Uh, you're asking the wrong answer. You're asking the wrong question. Templates don't get you 79. The reason is because if you do all of the writing 
including summarized spoken text. If you maximize every single writing task from the essay to the summer, summarized written text to the summarized spoken text, the maximum amount of points you get is around 40, maybe 45. Okay, so where's your 79 coming from? It's not coming from the, um, the writing tasks. It's going to come from the reading and the listening. Majority of your uh, writing points will come from reading and listening. That's why I say the question is wrong. If you ask, can templates get you 40 to 45 points? Then the answer is hell yes. Okay, and that's your expectation. So if you don't get your writing score by using templates, don't assume that you have bad templates. You might not have bad templates. Okay, assume it's probably the reading and the listening. So that's what we want to focus on today to try to just make sure we get the, um, get the points that we want. Now, how do we tell if we maximize the writing? Well, what does writing affect? I showed this yesterday with the enabling skills, right? So the enabling skills show writing and speaking only. You don't get enabling skills from your reading and your listening. So you only see that reflect your communicative skills. Now, in the enabling skills, what actually comes comes from the, the writing part? Grammar, only grammar, okay? Grammar is the one that is specifically only from writing because for some strange reason, spelling and vocabulary, mostly vocabulary though, vocabulary gets points from speaking as well. And in spelling, for some strange reason, you get a little bit from speaking. I don't know what the hell you're spelling from speaking, but they give you a little points there. So. The grammar is our main focus. Written discourse is only from the essay. And then we're going to go over essay tomorrow. I'll go over the essay with you guys tomorrow. And written discourse only comes from the essay, nothing else. All right. So if you have low written discourse, it will show you that your essay is not that good. Okay. And tomorrow I'll show you how we want to manipulate that because they can't understand what we're writing. Okay. I just want you guys to know, like, they're not, no, nobody's ever going to read this. It's just a computer system scanning your words and it's not assessing to see whether or not you made a good point, okay? It's probably just scanning for keywords. So with the summarized spoken text, what does it affect in the communicative skills? Writing, of course, and your listening. So that's why I started with the summary writing first. I talked about summarized written text yesterday because it affects reading and writing. I talked about, I'm talking about summarized spoken text today because it affects your listening and your writing. Tomorrow I'll talk about the essay, but what does the essay affect? Just the writing, just the writing. So a lot of times people have the IELTS mentality, right? They have the IELTS mentality because they think, damn, the, the IELTS essays are so important. It's 66% of my score. It should be the same in PTE. Hell no. All right, so just because you write more in the essay doesn't mean you get more points for writing. I, I would look at the summaries as they're more important than the essay itself because the, the summaries affect two modules, writing, listening for the summarized spoken text, writing, reading for the summarized written text. The essay, not as important. We'll cover that tomorrow. All right, there you have it. If you thought the tutorial was helpful, please check out my other tutorials. Now remember to subscribe because I provide real tips and tricks on how to get your PTA score. Please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.